true messaging service. The person you are calling is unable to take your call. Please leave your message after the tone. It's seven o'clock in the evening. That is me trying to get Ralph an appointment at the groomers, which you can clearly see he needs. And if this is happening in your business, then this week's episode is the one for you. Hello, it's Emma Mills here and welcome to episode 215 of my TV. Me and my shiny pants are dedicating today's episode to anyone whose product or service, the people that buy it, most probably have, or even just some of them have, a conversation or a decision-making thought in the evenings or the weekends. So if your customers, or some of them, go home in the evening, crack open the bottle of wine, <clears throat> have the conversation with their partner over the dinner table, like, oh, should we inquire about that service now? Or should we have a look at that product online? Or, oh, actually, I've got a question about it. If any of them have those kind of thoughts in the evening, then I want you to think about what do you have for them? that answers their question, that enables them to talk to somebody, that enables them to progress their buying when you are potentially not open because it happens so much to our clients. And, e and this is not just about small businesses, this is about big businesses as well because I've literally had these conversations in the past couple of weeks with clients who their dominating hours are nine till five, something around that time, but they know that they could be making more sales in the evenings, at the weekends, if they just had somebody to handle a call in a super friendly, intelligent, engaging way that knows about the business and that can do something to secure the next step. There's, um, you know, I love a good quote, and that like Forbes magazine have estimated that around 80% of people, if they call a business and get through to a voicemail, they're just not leaving a voicemail. I mean, I don't leave voicemails. I'll be honest, I don't even listen to loads of my voicemails because there's just, you know, you have to make your decisions on a daily basis of what you're prioritizing. Clearly, if an actual business is not listening to voicemails, it's a problem, but most of them aren't leaving them. And you know, there's another study to say that actually millennials if a millennial will at some point in any way buy your service or product, they're just not leaving a voicemail at all. They're just not doing it. So you're not even getting the opportunity to know whether it was a potential sale, what they wanted, what their question was, and what's the likelihood then? The likelihood is that you've seen who called last night, ringing them back, they've gone elsewhere, they don't answer the phone, and it's a real lost opportunity. But there's so there's just a really, really simple, easy way to capture more of that in the evening. And I get passionate about this stuff because, you know, businesses, just some of these like 1% tweaks and changes, your competition, like the actual extra thinking, the thinking that gets you to the extra mile. Most business owners don't actually do and there's so much opportunity for you with small tweaks and changes. So having your phone calls answered in the evening by an outsourced service, which is exactly what we do and what we can help with, can have a direct impact on your bottom line of making more sales. And while I'm not professing that we will capture and have sales conversations and make all these phone calls into business, what is really, really important is that when somebody calls you and has a question, they are captured in some way to know that their question or problem will be solved. So what do I mean by that? So if, for example, most recently we took on um, a large client that pr provide mortgages, and one of the key things we are doing in the evenings and weekends with those people that are interested there and then we are making a booking to speak to one of their advisors. So we will never become experts in all of our, you know, 500 and odd clients businesses, but we're going to capture them because, you know, OK, I've got a call booked in at a time that works for me. It's in my diary. I don't need to look for another mortgage broker online. I don't need to go to the next person on Google. And just this small tweak is going to capture more leads, have them booked in ready for the advisors to come in in the morning, check their calendar and say, oh, I've had a call book today for 3.30, great. You know, and it's just about these small tweaks and thinking properly about when are your customers having conversations with their partners, with themselves, with whoever in their life about moving forward with a service or a product? What have you got in place at that point? It may be that a first step is you allow somebody to book an appointment on your website something that my PA do, we do it on all of our service pages. You can book a call straight in with me or my colleague, Helena. The next step, somebody wants to speak about it now because they've got questions and, you know, regardless of 
texting, WhatsApping, all these other things, live chat that do have their place in the sales funnel, phone call is still number one for the mass proportion of people that want to actually find out more about something before they commit to it or buy from you. So do, do you get your calls answered in the evenings or the weekends? If not, why not? If you don't have the ability to be able to look at whether you get calls and missed calls, that's another topic in itself and that can be changed as well. If you want any help on any part of do I get inquiries? Do I get calls? What's happening to them? Are they leaving? Well, do you know, even if they're leaving a voicemail, it's too late. The high, the, like, there is just such a high probability that that person you're not going to get hold of again, that they're going to have gone somewhere else. It's for me just a really big, as they say, small hinges swing very big doors and getting your calls answered in the evening or weekend and having some provision for that is one of these very, very small hinges. And I hope this week's episode, it's quite specific, I know, because some of you will already have this sorted. Some of you won't get calls at all or won't get them in the evenings and weekends. But if you don't know that for sure, go and find out now. And I hope it helps you get helps you get your head out of the dirt and into the clouds to capture more inquiries, to be more, to create more relationships easily when you're not necessarily in the office. And I'll see you next week for episode 216. See you then. Bye-bye. Thank you.